Hey, Shalom, 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 Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant Malachi, coming in from the GMS Tampa Bay Church. All right, I want to come in all right, into a lesson uh, dealing with uh, uh, Esau Edom, all right, and how his plans, all right, they won't work. All right, you look at Esau and his plans and how he's been putting these different things within place uh, uh, by his different uh, laws, statutes. All right, this man has all these things in place. All right, so that what he can come up against who? All right, Israel. All right, this man is devising to 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 cut out Israel. All right, and to bring in his NWO. All right, his agenda. All right, his agenda is to 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 uh, to have complete control over this whole earth, over all food, over all water. Over all uh, animals and, and people, all right, in all things of this world, all right. This man has a God complex, all right, and he wishes to exalt himself to be above the heights of the clouds of uh, Yahweh, all right. This man is 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 uh, really uh, it, it's a certain type of spirit that the Lord has put upon this man, all right, and this man has been uh, basically. Uh, Deceived, all right. Let, let's get that right quick, all right. Because the Lord said He's gonna uh, uh, bring this man down, all right. We can get that in um in the book of Obadiah. <clears throat> um, let's start at uh verse three, all right. Because here it is, Obadiah, all right, was prophesying, all right, about who Esau Edom, all right. This whole chapter is going about Esau Edom. All right, and the Lord is uh, 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 bringing these things out. All right, showing you that this is the the end of Esau Edom. All right, this man has been brought to the king of terrors. All right, it reads the book. We're gonna start in verse three. It's the book of Obadiah one and three. It says, "The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart." Who shall bring me down to the ground? All right. And who's the only person that's saying that right now? All right. It's Esau Edom. All right. That whole nation. All right. You can even see it with these low level Edomites. They believe that they cannot be brought uh, low to the ground. They don't believe that they're uh, that they could be below uh, uh, these other nations and especially over uh, the nation of Israel. Okay, so these people, all right, the pride of their hearts have have deceived them, all right, clearly, all right, because these, as the scripture goes into it, all right, these are the basis of men. All right, verse four, it says, that though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right, the Lord Yahweh said, I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to put you into a snare to where I know you're not going to be able to move. And I'm going to put you in your own trap to where you're going to fall in the pit. All right, and you will be destroyed within it. The things that you have laid out. All right, because of your pride. All right, and you're going to pride. That's one of the thing, things that the Lord hates. He hates pride. All right, and this is a whole nation who is proud, all right? Especially going up into the chief tribe of, of, of Esau, you're going to Amalek, all right? You can even see some of them uh, in, in, in today's time. They're just proud, all right? <clears throat> all right, so these people, they exalt themselves as the eagle, all right? And, and as they set their nest among the stars, meaning what? Them going up into the, the heavens, all right, going and putting their, uh, their satellites, their GPSs, all right? They're, they're, they're trying to circumnavigate uh, 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 themselves around the whole earth, all right, and place uh, 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 their, um, basically, 
because they don't have a heritage. So basically place their name, all right, amongst the different places throughout the whole earth. And they're trying to reach themselves up into the heavens. All right. This is how you see them with their military, with their technology. All right. With their medical system. All right. Uh, they have their uh, the different philosophies. All these things. All right. Have exalted themselves as an eagle to put themselves above uh, all these other different nations. All right. But the Lord said he's going to bring them down. He's going to bring all of that thing that they have set up. He's going to bring them down to the ground. Verse five. If thieves came to thee. If robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? All right, when you look at Esau Edom, man, when this man come in, this man wants to take everything, all right? He doesn't want to just have a partial of, of this, uh, of, of, of the, uh, the partial of, of this fruit, or, 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 or this uh, uh, type of uh, place over here, or this island, or this land. No, these are the people who got to have everything, all right? They've stolen everything within this earth, and they still continue to try to have control. This is why they're trying to have the, the control over the minds of the people, all right? This is when we start to enter into uh, uh, the all, all right, going into uh, uh, the karagma. All right, the digital all. All right, let's just go with that. The digital all. All right, this is where uh, 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 he's trying to uh, have the people uh, put their subjection. All right, underneath him. All right, they're trying to. He they're, they're, these these Edom these Edomites. All right, are trying to have uh, the whole society. All right, underneath their own control. All right, and they're gonna be able to control the people by the way of this uh, digital all, all right, when it is uh, represented, all right, and we can already see these things playing out, especially in progression right now, as we see the vaccinations, all right, the mandates, and how the things are going with the children, and with the schools, and with the jobs, and the, uh, 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 damn, uh, places of uh, entertainment, all right, so the Lord is showing us that this is the progression, all right, towards uh, the hour of temptation. All right, we're quickly and approaching that time, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble. All right, verse six, it says, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All right, how is this, how is this man's thing sought up? All right, it's, 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 it's the Lord, what, having these, uh, 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 um, uh, whistleblowers, all right, these different articles, uh, news, uh, media going to the, the social media, all right, and also at the forefront of it all, all right, you have what the Lord's uh, uh, men, the prophets out here prophesying against the things of what Esau Edom has in his plans, all right, these things that are being uh, laid out, all right, so let's uh, jump to the book of Joel 5, verse 12. It says, he disappointed the, dev the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right, so what is the enterprise that these devils are, 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 are trying to push? All right, it's to push towards that uh, NWO, that um, uh, 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 the, the ways of the people getting the digital oil. All right, this is the, uh, the, the, the crafty devices of the wicked all right this is why he has all these different plans and and, and different uh, um, uh, how can I say it? these different uh, basically these different plans all right laid out on the forefront so they can push towards his agenda but he doesn't even know that it's a snare upon his own head all right verse 13 it says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong all right and let's go into that word headlong because this is uh how the lord is what he's speeding up the times he's pushing um uh esau edom all right to move quickly all right because all the different things that's going around you look at the uh the, um, going into what the social media the, the different posts the different platforms that's out 
this the social media all right the uh the internet really uh focusly on in, uh focusing on the internet this thing is killing all right this man's plans this is how the lord is disappointing his uh his crafty devices all right his plans the things that he devised all right his laws his policies all these things are being brought out upon the internet all right and the Lord is showing us that, hey, he's speeding up the times as you read in the book of Matthew 24. This is uh, what, uh, for the days of the, uh, damn, it's a lot. Let's get that right quick. I don't want to butcher it. I always, let's get that. Matthew 24. All right, because it's for the elect's sake. <clears throat> all right, it's the book of Matthew, all right, 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right, because if the Lord didn't shorten the days, we will be caught up in all of Esau's uh, uh, agendas, all his different uh, laws, his different operations that he have in place. As you go into what the Operation Garden Plot, the Operation Cypher, the Operation Pogo, you got uh, Operation Cable Splicer, you got Rex 84, you got the King Alfred Plan. All right, it's so many different uh, plans and operations that this man has, all right, that this damn devil, all right, would have a damn meat grinder out here. He would have everybody within it, all right? So the Lord is shortening the days by speeding up the prophecies, by putting his hand upon Esau Edom and making him to rush, all right, so that he can get sloppy and so that he can get caught up within his own plans, all right, because the, there will no flesh be saved if the Lord didn't shorten the times, all right, this is what you see uh, right now as we see these, um, um, uh, uh, these things, all right, are being uh, put onto the TV, uh, uh, put into uh, the people all right these you know if you if you're in the loop you understand what I'm saying these things that these people are taking all right this is the uh, the start all right and the progression of it towards the uh, the digital all all right we're in the time of, uh, of, of entering into that all right we're in the time of entering uh, uh, to Jacob's trouble all right as the times progress more and more. All right, so going into that word um, headlong, all right, it's the uh, Hebrew Hebrew word, 4116, it's mahar, all right, it says to haste, all right, to be swift, quickly, hastily, hasty, soon, speed, headlong, rash, fearful, ready, shortly, speedily, straightway, and suddenly. All right, these are the different words, all right, that translate with, uh, with this word mahar, all right? But for this actual verse, all right, it goes into it, to hasten, all right, to be hurried and be anxious. You can see, uh, I mean, I believe it was the elder, uh, damn, uh, he, I, I believe it was from the, uh, the Dallas uh, camp, and he was going into a video saying that how the beast is eating. All right, so when you look at how, uh, you know, a person when they eat and they're, they're anxious and, they're, and they like the taste of the food, all right, this is how Esau Edom is right now. He's loving this food. He's loving the taste. He's, he's seeing the fear amongst the people. He's seeing his, his plans start to roll out. He's seeing the people are starting to uh, uh, take hold of uh, to his plans, all right, but you have a lot of people who are uh, seeing that it's bullshit. All right, that it, it, the shit is not working. So now Esau has other plans, all right, for those individuals, the ones who's now uh, along with his NWO. And this is what's going to make him come with that great wrath. So back in uh, Joel 5 and um, <clears throat> uh, 13, all right, it says he, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong all right and it's just like as you read Shalaki in the book of Ezekiel 38 and how the Lord said he will put hooks upon the jaws all right and basically like he's, he's, he's gonna pull them all right 
towards what? World War Three, all right, towards uh, to, to uh, to, toward the destruction of uh, America. And you take this as what? As the same thing as Esau, all right? The Lord is pulling Esau Edom, all right, and rushing him and carrying him, all right, to the point to where he has no choice but to come with that great wrath, all right? Let's jump to the book of Job 15. Um, um so look, Job 15. And um, we start at verse 21. It says, A dreadful sound is in his ears, and the prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. All right, so that dreadful sound is who? It's the prophets. All right, it's the, uh, the, the rumors that's going around in the earth. This is the dreadful sound within this man's ears. Um, Let's get that right quick. Ezekiel, I think that's Ezekiel 51. 46 a lot. Um, this oh, it's a lot. Ezekiel, I think it's 47. <clears throat> oh my god, all right. Ezekiel, no, it's a lot. Jeremiah, that's what it was. Jeremiah, it's a lot. You bear with me. Jeremiah 51. <clears throat> All right, this is the book of Jeremiah 51 and 46. It says, yeah, 46. It's, and lest your heart faint and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. All right, so this is the, the, the time that the Lord has the rumors, all right, within the earth, all right? Why? Based off uh, um, the prophets, the men of the Lord, and how they're saying how the uh, uh, how yeah, how Shai is on his way back, and how he's saying that this man's plans is not going to work, and how he's saying that what the the the, uh, the elect, all right, is getting uh, uh, what spiritual power, all right, and how we're about to have this uh, uh, this place. All right, and how Babylon is about to be destroyed. This all hey, all these rumors that these uh, uh, elites Esau Edom are hearing. All right, this is pushing this man to move quickly and forward. All right, so this ain't the time for you to get faint. This is the time for you to 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 hear the words of Yahweh Hashem and that and to see that hey. This is the time that the Lord is about to get this man in, in his own snare and to have him taken. This is the time to rejoice because this is the fall of Babylon, all right, as we see these things play out. All right? This is the fall of Esau, Edom, as we just read in Obadiah 1, all right, that the Lord was going to bring him down because the pride have deceived him. Thinking that he was getting ready to go along with these plans and, 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 and actually make it. It's not going to happen. Um, Job 15, 21. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. As you read in Job 20, it says, um, 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 in his uh, sufficient. So let's just get that. <laughs> All right. Job 20. All right, Job 20. And um, I'm going to start verse 20. It says, Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. Woo! Hey, that's the spirit. All right? He's not going to feel quietness in his belly. All right, as you're going into the work, as you go into uh, the, the belly, goes into the mind. All right, this man is not going to be able to feel any uh, quietness within it. Based off what? The rumors. All right? He's hearing all these different things that are happening, that his plans is not going to uh, go into fruition, uh, that what? Yahweh Shai is coming, that the elect is rising up. He's seeing all these different things, and that he has no quietness within his own mind. The Lord is plaguing this man. These people are not sleeping. This is why you read in Micah 2. They have to devise these different plans upon their beds because they have the power to do uh, so. 
It says, he shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Meaning what? Going into what? Difficulty. The Lord setting up different ways and, 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 and devices as well too. All right? Setting up uh, 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 Esau Edom. All right? Because he's going to be made in straits. Difficulty based off what? The revealing of his different plans and agendas that he have out there. This is why he's going to get frustrated and he's going to move quick, quickly. All right. It says every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he is about to fill his belly. The most high shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. All right, so why does damn devil think he's gonna be uh, uh, having all his plans uh, uh, being made full? This one, the Lord gonna cast the snare upon Esau Edom while he's most vulnerable, while he is eating. Okay, back in Job 15, he believeth, yeah, he believeth not that he shall return out of darkness, and he is waited for of the sword. All right, he gonna be waiting for the sword, meaning what? These ICBM missiles, World War Three. All right, all these different things that's getting ready to come upon the earth. All right, and towards Babylon the Great. Verse twenty-three. It says he wandered ab abroad for bread, saying, "Where is it?" All right, and that way while he is eating, this man is gonna be wandering abroad for more of this uh, of his plans to be made in fruition. All right, he's going to be wandering for it. All right, saying, where is it? I need more. I need to have more. This is why he's going to be most vulnerable. It says, he knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at his hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to the battle. All right, this is why he's not going to feel any quietness within his belly. All right, that trouble and anguish is going to make him afraid. That's why the scripture says terrors um, uh, 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 shall come upon him on every side. It's not going to go the way that he that he believes that it's going to go. All right. Um, let's get straight to the point. Um, it says um, Psalm 7. Ooh, we started just verse 13. Um, yeah, verse 13. It says he hath also prepared. Uh, yeah, verse 13. He he hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Who is that? All right, that's Esau Edom. The Lord has these instruments of death waiting for who? Esau Edom. All right, the Lord going to have his spirits all right, within these ICBM missiles to come straight over here to Babylon the Great and to destroy what? The third part of men, as you read in um, uh, in the book of Revelations. The third part of men goes into what? Uh, 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 Esau Edom. Okay? You got the sons of men, the sons of the wicked, all right? And you got the sons of, uh, 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 of the Most High, the sons of, yeah, of God. All right, so, hey, that third part of men is going into Esau Edom. A lot of these Edomites is going to die over here based off what these uh, elites have uh, in their uh, uh, in their plans and their agendas. Okay, it says, "Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and have conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood." All right, telling the uh, the Americans. Uh, to go ahead and take this uh, this thing, all right? You can uh, be protected against the uh, the variants that are out there, all right? He's making different plans and iniquities behind the scenes, all right? To uh, to kill off millions. Okay, verse fifteen. It says he made a pit and digged it. All right, who's the one starting all these different things? When you take a shovel, all right, and you start digging. All right, who's the one that made it? It's the person who started it. All right, and this is Esau Edom. This is the man who started digging. All right, but he's going to get caught up within it. It says, he made a pit and digged it and it's fallen into the ditch 
which he made. All right, this man is about to fall directly within the uh of the ditch which he made. All right, he dug a real deep hole. All right, but he don't know that uh that that Yahweh by Shimei was shy pushed him within it. So now he's stuck, and the shovel is up. All right, up on on, on top of the ground while this man has fell into the ditch. All right, and there's no way for him to get himself out of that ditch. Verse 16, his mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Damn. All right. So, <laughs> so when you look at it, when the Lord, all this different sh shit that he got uh, 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 planned, this is the Lord saying, well, all this shit that you're doing is coming right upon your own head. You don't even see it. All right. It says, um, and his violent dealing should come upon his own pate. So when you go into that word pate, it goes into what? Your, um, damn, uh, yeah, I remember I went and studied this before. Um, but going to pate, going into your, your crown of your head, that's what it was, the crown of your head, all right? And you look at the crown of your head, the top of your head, it's one of the most softest spots in your head, all right? Just take it, when you look at uh, some of these videos and you see some people maybe walking and, something drops upon their own head all right it knocks them out or sometimes it even kills them instantly all right and this is how the lord is going to uh eradicate uh uh, uh a lot of these uh edomites all right a lot of them are about to be having uh a uh, 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 difficulty in these times ahead all right based off their different plans that they know that it's not going to work all right, but the pride of these devils, they're still going to go along with it. As the scripture says in um, 2 Ezra 13, yet there's fight. So they're going to still try. They're going to try to see if they may have a, a percentage, all right, of, of actually making it. All right, we can get ready to close out. It's the book of Psalms 9 and 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. And the net which they hid is their own foot taken. All right, so their own foot has been taken. All right, the Lord has uh, uh, has, has 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 basically uh, got them to dig the pit. All right, and they fell in the pit, but they don't even know that within them digging. All right, their own foot has been taken. All right, so that that wet they may fall into that ditch. All right. Hey, they've been taken. All right, that's why the scripture says they have been. Um, uh, damn. So I, I don't lost the train of thought what I was getting ready to say, but it says in the net which they had hid is their own foot taken. All right. So verse sixteen it says the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is known by the judgment which he executeth. All right, because the Lord is going to make it known. All right, by these different judgments that he's getting ready to put upon this whole earth and upon uh, America, which is Babylon the Great. All right. It says, uh, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hand. Haggion Salah. All right, so the wicked has been snared in their, in their own works, in their own devices, in their own plans. All right, they they snared themselves. All right, into their own into their own uh, ditch which they made. All right, so hey, this this man's plans is not going to go into fruition. All right, he's not going to carry on with his agenda. The scriptures easily uh, 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 says that what we just read it earlier in Job um, uh, Job twenty, saying that while he is eating, okay, that. Uh, uh, that the, the 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 fierce wrath of the Lord, all right, is gonna come upon him, all right, it's gonna come upon his own head, all right, and this is how he's gonna be taken away and out of power, all right, especially it's gonna be the time when uh, America, uh, Babylon the Great is destroyed, and then you're gonna see that holy city, all right, uh, being lifted up, all right, right before the destruction, and then after the destruction, you're gonna see them coming down as you read in Revelation 21. And that's when the fun is going to begin, all right? Whatever remaining uh, 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 Edomites, all right, which is going to be these elites, all right, because they have their bunkers and their different uh, 
uh, places, uh, you know, throughout the earth so that they can hide. But they don't know that hey, the Lord will have a spirit on his men when they return back down onto the earth. All right. To gather these elites. All right. And to show them that they're getting ready to be put into punishment for a thousand years. All right. Hey, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you. Akim and Awakim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and you hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant Malachi. Shalom.